Okay, so before we move on to the last part of the mirror cell video, um, I did want to demonstrate what this looks like ultimately once we put the, what are going to end up being the retaining clips in there, and then also those off-centered circle dowels. So as you can see, it's all set up. This is how that a mirror should be placed when it's in the cell. I've done that using the jig again. Now, remember, I, I shouldn't, I should have mentioned, and I don't believe I did, whenever you're placing these two that are going to have those dowels, be sure to leave enough room for your sling. Um, I typically use about a 16th inch diameter stainless steel cable for my sling, so be sure to figure that in when you're accounting for this, because that's actually going to touch that sling. And as you can see here, whenever I move these, I will just end up coming in contact with that sling. So whenever they're positioned where it can free float, um, it's going to be like that. And then whenever I want to move these, they're going to just kiss that sling. And I mean just kiss it. We don't want to transfer the pressure to the edge of the mirror with these because that's going to give us um, a type of astigmatism. That's going to give us an aberration at the eyepiece. We don't want the mirror resting on these whenever it tilts laterally or whenever it tilts horizontally. These are just made, these are just on here, so that it can't shift to and fro. It can't shift side to side. So I just wanted to demonstrate that's what it ultimately looks like whenever it's set up. So there we go. Next we're going to, uh, pardon me, put the mirror cell in the bottom of the mirror box and we're gonna drill some holes. We're gonna identify the positioning to drill holes that are going to actually hold that mirror cell in place in the mirror box. So we have the mirror cell framed up. Obviously you wanna make sure that it fits nicely in the bottom of your mirror cell and make sure that your single hole and your two holes here, the bars, are in the correct position. In other words, that you didn't accidentally put this bar back here and this bar up here because that'll make a difference. Um, so after you get this framed up in the bottom of the mirror cell, it's time to make, oh, I usually do for a 16 inch telescope, I'll do three holes on each side to secure the mirror cell after it's time to put back in. On anything larger than 20 inches, I'll usually do three holes on each side and then two holes in the back. So it's being supported on three of the walls. But on the 16s, there's no reason to do, in my opinion, any more than three holes on each side. So since those bolts are going to be exposed, I, used to, I, I like to use a machine head bolt and I'll countersink it down into the wood and then I'll just put a nut on this side, a lock nut, so it locks it in place. Since they're going to be exposed, it's a good idea to have them equidistant apart. So I've measured mine up and I'll take my center punch and I'll make my punches first. In the mirror cell. Okay, and so next what I'll do is I'll take the mirror cell over to the, well actually I won't take it to the drill press, I'll just use a regular drill and I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole, um, pardon me, I'm going to be using a quarter inch bolt, so I'm going to drill a 9 30 seconds hole through the mirror cell in these three places and then the corresponding three on the other side. And then I will uh, come back and I'll show you how I mark for the uh, holes on the mirror box itself. Okay, so I do have the three holes drilled on each side of the mirror cell. I'm going to take you kind of close here so you can see what I've done. I've position the mirror cell where I want it in the mirror box and as you can see on the other side I have got a square there just to make sure that I have the mirror cell set up level and then I'll take a few clamps and clamp it down okay so now I'll take the camera back here So now what I need to do is I need to mark those three holes on my mirror box on each side. And since I used a 9 30 second drill bit, I'm just keeping that in the drill. 
And I'm not going to drill all the way through here. I just want to fit it in the hole and make a mark. Okay, I'll do that on this side. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to unclamp it. I'll take my tri square out here. All right, we pull this out. Now, the reason I didn't go all the way through on those spots is I don't want tear out on the other side of the mirror box here. Now the way to alleviate that and not get any tear out, I'll take a scrap piece of wood. Uh, I want a relatively small piece of scrap. So something like this. And I will take, and I'll look and see where those holes are, and now I'm going to clamp this really, really tightly on each side of the mirror cell as I drill those holes through. So that's, that's it. That's the way you're going to avoid that tear out. So clamp this on, finish those holes going all the way through on your mirror box, and you're ready to go. Um, after that, I am going to countersink the holes on this side, on the outsides of the mirror box, so that machine screw that I'm going to use will sit down in there flush. A lot of people will use a carriage bolt, so you could absolutely use a carriage bolt in